Hey guys, this is Jeff from HTC, and you're taking a look at the Evo 4G LTE that we just announced here with uh, an event with Sprint in New York City. Really super excited about this. Um, it's our, uh, our first uh, uh, big device for this year with Sprint, and uh, it's fantastic. All top of the line specs. Put the screens here a little bit so you can see some of uh, the goodness in Sense 4. And as you can see, this is an ice cream sandwich device. But uh, obviously, as you can tell by the name, uh, Evo 4G LTE, really kind of the, the big headline with this device is that uh, it is uh, LTE on Sprint Nationwide Network, so uh, so you'd definitely be able to enjoy super fast speeds uh, on that. Uh, give you kind of a quick run through of the device itself. You can see how thin it is as I hold it to an angle here and what the, what the back looks like. Spec-wise, this is really, really top-notch. Um, the, the front screen, for example, this is a 4.7-inch diagonal screen with a, a true 720p display at 1280 by 720 resolution. And it's a super LCD, too, so it's got really brilliant viewing angles when I when I move it to the side here. Yeah. Um, just the, the screen just, just pops really, really right to the surface. It's got a, uh, a, a dual core 1.5 gigahertz processor under the hood. And for those of you who are into uh, you know, processor specs and whatnot, that's the, the Qualcomm S4 uh, codename Crate processor. So really, really super fast. And uh, it's got 16 gigs of built-in memory. So for all the media that you might download, you know, streaming content over Sprint's LTE network, downloading music, all that kind of stuff, um, you've got uh, you know, all the space to, to store that there. And uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, as I, as I flip it around to the back, uh, the camera is one of the, the big stories with this device. This is an eight megapixel camera, and uh, it has um, an f-stop of 2.0, which is uh, the best f-stop that we've put on uh, cameras. So, you know, amazing aperture, uh, allows in tons of light for the best low light photos uh, that you can, you can get on a device of this class. So we've got the LED here, which is five stages, so it's actually aware of your environment and how much light is in the environment, so it'll adjust itself accordingly. And then, uh, as I go into the camera itself, you can see the HTC has done a, a lot of work here with uh, what we call HTC Image Sense. Uh, this is uh, basically our experience for taking photos. You can see that we brought the, the camera um, button as well as the video camera button right to the surface. And uh, as, I, as I press and hold, actually, let me turn up the volume here. Hopefully, you can hear this over the music in the menu. As I press and hold the camera button, I'm just I'm taking tons and tons of photos. You know, you can't. Yeah, you can't I, I can hear, hear it, but you can uh, see. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm taking nice. all those photos. I mean, just like super, super fast. It's really, really cool. And then I can choose, you know, which one of those is the best shot. Choose to delete the remainder. Um, and then also, while I'm taking video, I can also be taking shots in the middle of taking video, oh, as, you, nice. as you can see. So that way, exactly. Yeah. So uh, you know, while I'm taking a 1080p video, when I'm in the middle of that, uh, if I realize, you know, gosh, this would be a really cool still photo shot, I can take that that photo. That's good. Uh, we also have uh, Beats Audio in this device, uh, and that's universal Beats Audio across all different music apps and applications. Whether you're using, uh, you know, Google Music or uh, you know, RDO or or Spotify or whatever your preferred music uh, application of choice is, uh, you've got it on here. Uh, Let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, last thing, you know, I really shouldn't forget to mention, because obviously Sprint is talking about a lot here, is their, their new um, HD voice calling. So it really gives you crystal clear calling, unlike anything that you've ever heard on, uh, on any of the other networks right now. So with the new LTE network that Sprint is launching, uh, you'll really get an amazing calling experience, really making this, you know, one of the best, uh, best phones that you've ever seen, as well as, you know, a device for every other aspect of your life, whether it's the camera, you know, listening to, to music, uh, you know, watching video. In fact, speaking of video, kickstand is back. There's the kickstand. It's back. Yeah, exactly. We put it on the on the stand here. But now the, the home screen isn't going to change rotation here. But uh, we can go into something like um, oh, I don't know. We can go into the internet browser, just for example. And, yeah, rotate. Uh, it's pretty nice. Waiting here. You know what? We're we don't have a good connection in here right now, so it's taking some time. But uh, yeah, it looks like we've got some. Uh, Connectivity issues in this particular room, but you know, being able to put this on a table and watch a video streaming over the web or something, you know, really, really cool experience. Um, so that's that. That's the Evo 4G LTE. This is the true successor to the uh, the very popular Evo 4G of old, and we're very happy about it. It's going to be available soon in the U.S. One of the things I notice is that you can actually take the uh, standard ice cream sandwich because you don't have it. You just have the three capacitor buttons on the bottom head, and only with a lot of other people. Just 
put in the standard. That, that's right. Button. Exactly. Yeah. So, so for, for viewers watching this, we've got the back button, home button, and this is the multitasking button. So you can see all the different applications that are currently running. Okay. And just like an ice cream sandwich, you, you can, can you know, them. yeah, you can kill them, just flick them away, that kind of thing. Okay. So you know, absolutely have that functionality. But to your point, we decided to keep in the capacitive buttons. Um, you know, Google allows you to do it either way. But when our designers took a look at how they wanted to create this device uh, and some of our other uh, ice cream sandwich devices that we launched around the world, they really decided that having the buttons there provides a, a, a really nice anchor visually. And so, you know, no matter how you hold the device or whatever, you've always got those buttons yeah. there to anchor the eye on the bottom of the screen. And I think the experience works out really well with it. Well, what's the resolution on the front facing camera? Front facing camera is uh, EGA resolution. As I mentioned before, back okay. camera is 8 megapixels. And it's got 16 gigabyte storage. 16 gigs of storage. Um, yeah, I think I mentioned the processor before, dual core 1.5 gigahertz. The battery in this, by the way, because a lot of people will be wondering with the LTE network, is a 2,000 milliamp battery. 2,000 milliamp battery. Exactly. And, and by the way, combined with this particular processor, the S4 processor, which is much more power efficient than other dual core processors out in the market, you're going to get really nice day-long battery life with this. Probably close to a full day, I would be surprised, at least like 25 hours. Yeah. We always shoot for a full day's worth of battery, definitely. So I think you'll really experience that. All right. I think Evo fans are probably going to look at the notification section because I know it's one thing that was customized a lot in the You mean the, uh, the shade here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. So, you know, this is this is very similar to uh, stock ICS. I think, you know, a lot of people wanted to see something uh, the notification area that's uh, a little bit simpler, you know, takes out some of that kind of, let's call it extraneous elements of, of previous versions of Sense. So, you know, we used to have a, a, a bar at the top that included all the running applications and some tabs down at the bottom. And we've decided that, um, you know, that, that was adding some things that were taking up screen real estate that people didn't necessarily need. So as you can see here, it's very, very clean and, uh, you know, it's very, very ICS-like. So that's kind of the theme overall with Sense 4 on Ice Cream Sandwich is that we've really tried to um, say, you know, simpler, cleaner experience is always better. You know, very similar to stock ICS in many ways while, of course, still adding in the, the HTC DNA, the Evo DNA, and making sure you feel that this is, this is truly an HTC device.